He doesn't enjoy his time in it anymore. A lot of whining and howling. But I think if he just took a few steps forward and knew that he could walk with this, his whole attitude would be different, but I think we did the wrong thing and tried to teach him what to do. We should have taught him to walk backwards and he'd be going forward. But he can walk around on a sling with his front legs a lot longer than he stands in this, so... I'm just going to let him be, stay in it for a little while and see what happens. baby starts crying when he doesn't get his way and we come running we need to stop babying this guy I'm not saying just you did I Lisa no, that's what I said. I okay Ajax what have we got today you gotta come come on come on a couple inches Couple inches, we'll give you a treat. I better shut up because he won't do it. Oh my gosh, I saw half an inch. I think he did it by accident though, trying to go on the other side. I'm just gonna let you cry, buddy. I don't think you're tired on that thing at all. He runs around that sled a lot longer than he's been sitting in this. So I'm not convinced he's in any kind of trouble or hurting. I'm just convinced he wants to get out of that thing. So I'm going to let him go. Like I said, I think we've been being babying him too much. When he cries a little bit, we come running to help. We're going to have a little tough love for his own, help, own benefit right here. And he needs to take a couple steps forward so he can walk around on this thing. I know he can do it. It's not that difficult. If he had that sling right now, he'd be pulling butt. Straighten your butt out. Make sure you're all comfy in there. There you go. Time to go, buddy. Come on. Come on, Ajax. Come on, let's go in the house. Come on. Let's go in the house, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Ajax. Uh, this is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time. I don't know we've had him in this thing. We had him on in a, in a few minutes in the house. We brought him outside. We thought he'd be more compelled to run around out here, but... He cries, we come running, and he seems to be crying for help right now, but I don't think he's in any pain or danger whatsoever. The only danger he's in is learning how to walk on this thing. And here he goes backwards. I know he can go forward. But since I try to get him to do that for three days, he's going to do the opposite of that because he's just like one of my kids was. I should have tried to teach him to walk backwards and he'd be freaking running forward now. Uh, I can see his leg muscles starting to shake a little bit, so I don't know if that's just his nerves from being upset or his legs are actually tired, so I'm going to get him out. Okay, buddy, he talked me into it. Let's get you out of there. Let me get the strap number one, strap number two, there you go, lift you out, how's that, now you're going to try to get up and run aren't you, let me take the 
harness off you. Whoa! You all right? See, you get used to being in that saddle. You think you can stand up. Come on, get up. There you go. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy, Ajax. Good try. Good try.